Lucy. Hey, Empress. Hey, Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. It helps get the video around to other people that may need to see this message. Before we begin, first things first, y'all. I only have one Instagram page, one YouTube page. It's at Mecca Dreams. You can only book a reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box, okay? The second thing I wanted to address is my readings are timeless. This could be past, present, or future, y'all. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate with you, I have tons of other videos that are on my channel that you are welcome to check out. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, OG, please come down and protect me as I channel this different energy, please and thank you. Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me and cover me. Please come down and protect and cover the viewers that I've clicked on this video today. Please and thank you. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What are the messages for Virgo? Virgo, it's time to see the truth about a relationship that you were in, okay? You could be very empathic, very intuitive, but it seems like you were in a codependent relationship. You could even be the runner, okay, in a, in a relationship, running from intimacy, running from love, or you could be connected to someone who just doesn't, they're fearful of it. They're listening to their ego. They don't want to listen to the truth. They don't want to hear you out, I'm seeing here. I can't make it up. We just saw the runner. Now look at this. The chaser so i'm seeing you could be the chaser in this codependent relationship and you're dealing with the runner you could have fear of, of being left fear of abandonment issues and it's keeping you stuck not only in life stagnating your blessings your forward movement but it's also stopping you from having real love in your life having someone that's not that someone you don't have to chase to love you what's for you is for you you're not gonna have to to chase it or to have to put chains around it. What's, what's given to you by God is going to forever be yours. Okay, I'm seeing here, yeah, it's something about you wanting to have stability and security with this person. Okay, or this is what you need to focus on at this time. Your security, ooh, your security and your stability. Okay, y'all, yeah, hold on. I don't know what card fell. Oh, Virgo, Virgo, you're not going to want to hear this, but I'm going to say it anyway, because I ain't going to get the bad karma, <laughs> okay? Father, Father God already told me I need to tell y'all the truth. That's why I will always tell y'all jokes, but I will never tell y'all a lie, because I, I take this very seriously. You're trying to get married to someone here, and you really need to be mindful Okay, there's some type of karmic relationship that you are trying to manifest into your life or that you want to stay stuck in through marriage, through a commitment, through contracts. Okay, you could be getting married, you could be engaged at this time, there could be a commitment, but this is a karmic relationship. This is a soul tied to a karmic. This karmic, this is someone that was placing on like to teach you spiritual lessons and you for them. This is not someone that you were supposed to make everlasting. It's not supposed to be everlasting. This, this could be someone that constantly triggers you or they have triggers that, that they are not healing or adjusting that you may, you know, stir up within them. It could be a lot of turmoil in this. It could even be resentment. Okay, you may say you forgive this person, but what is real forgiveness? When you look at forgiveness, when you look at the dictionary, what forgiveness is, it means you letting go of resentment. So you could have let this person back or you could be trying to manifest marriage or engagement with this individual, but it's like you could still be holding on to resentment. There's some type of lessons that this person was placed in your life to teach you and now it's time to let go and it's time to choose to love on you. That's at the bottom, letting go and loving you. It's time to let go and love you because this is a karma. Yeah, this is also someone here that you may feel like is not enough. Or, or they may make you feel like you are not enough. And you are, Virgo. This is, this is, mm -mm. you could even be very frustrated in this relationship. They could put you at a place of having low self-esteem, low self-work, low self-worth. Someone here may lose work. It's a lack of confidence here. It's like also self-sabotaging thoughts, okay? If, if someone here is 
in fear while the other is stuck in ego, okay? It's also jealousy of one another or jealousy of different, you know, aspects of this connection here. Yeah, it's time for you to take a chance. It's time for you to, yeah. Someone here also is not showing you their true colors. They could be a gambler or they're not showing you their true intentions and, and, and motives with you. They could even have options. Someone here could have a lot of options. They're trying to be strategic or you could have felt like this was a risk. I'm seeing here, yeah, it's time for you to go after your passions because you're getting ready to meet someone. I'm letting you know, once you let this go, Father God is bringing you in someone where the love is going to be real because love is coming. Real love is coming. Okay, you can even be hesitant about this, but it's going to be with someone that you're going to have passion with. Okay, I'm seeing here intense, intense chemistry. You're going you're gonna to be meeting someone. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> This could even be someone from your past, okay, that could be reminiscing about you, but they want to make new memories with you, okay? Someone here, they want to make new memories with you, but you could be holding on to this person <clears throat> that's keeping you as an option. Somebody here, their throat chakra is blocked. They don't want me to say this, or you could have things that you need to say to somebody, or they could have things that they need to say to you, but they're not, okay? Their throat chakra is blocked. Their chakras are blocked at this time, which is why they're not able to speak the truth. They're not being their authentic self with you. Or you may not be being your authentic self with this person and it's blocking the flow of real love. And love is the strongest vibration. Love is God. <clears throat> so it's like you're blocking God in your life. You're blocking love. You're blocking blessings. You're blocking abundance. You're blocking your next steps. Something about passion here. Yeah, allowing your heart to truly sing. It's like your angels are trying to guide you toward true passion. Or well, you could have a lot of passion for this individual. Yeah, there's a connection with someone. You could feel like it's a lot of fun, okay? Or this is someone that acts very youthful. Or you could act very youthful, I'm seeing here. But you really need to focus on self-love. You could even be doing things out of yourself to try to appease somebody here. Mm -mm. Yeah, look at this. Romantic feelings are in the reverse. Someone here, the romantic feelings are not real. They're not legit. They're not honest here. Someone here is trying to have control. You could have children with this individual I'm seeing here, okay, or vice, or this person, you know, they could be connected to someone that they have children with at this time, but it's a lot of control issues here. And it has to do with passion. It has to do with sex. Yeah, there's getting ready to be some type of separation or time apart. Father God is saying, see the truth of this. See the truth of it. Yeah, someone here does not want you to realize that you really deserve love. You are in a karmic relationship. Somebody here is devilish. They're very wicked. Okay, they're an agent of the devil at this time. They're trying to keep you stuck. They know that you can give real love out or they don't want you to have anybody else. They want to use and abuse you so you can't give anymore. This is sick. Okay, it's time for you to release this person. This could be someone that you're connecting with at this time that you need to make your ex. It's time to release your ex. It's time to let it go so that you can have true love come in. Okay, you could, you got so that you can have true love come in. You could even be thinking that this is your true love. I'm seeing here, but if release your ex wanted to pop out, you don't need to trust this person. This is someone saying, trust me, but behind your back, they about to stab you with the damn stick. Someone here backstabs you. They could be like, oh, trust me, trust me, listen to me. But they always backstabbing you. They always stabbing you in the back. They're always doing things to hurt you, to put you down. And this could be really affecting your health. Yeah, there's some type of addictions here with this codependent relationship. It's a lot of obsessions here. Somebody's very possessive. They're very controlling. They have a lot of blockages in their life. Or they want to have block. They want to put blockages in your life. They want to put some type of restraint in your life <clears throat> or vice versa. Yeah, you need to pay attention to, to, to a group of people as well. You could be in a group or this person could have a big group of people that they that they are connecting to at this time. You need to be mindful of saying yes to them. You need to be mindful, yeah, because someone here is doing sex and love magic to keep you stuck, to keep you bonded, and to make you feel like they are the one and they are not. Or they are, and they're not. They're not. Yeah, it could be some type of beef happening on the internet with a Sagittarius. You could be arguing with a Sagittarius over this person. I see happy people are not hating right now. But these hating mother freakers are not happy. They're pissed off. They're angry. Yeah, someone's only coming around to see if the spell work has worked on you. Okay, they feel like they want to fool you. Or they feel like they have fooled you. They're also stealing money from you. 
okay? All the backstabbing things that this person has done or is doing to you is getting ready to come back towards them. It could be an Aquarius involved as well. Someone here is trying to trap you with a child so they can have control over you. You could be in denial over it. But this person is not loyal and they cannot be trusted. And they're getting ready, if they haven't already accumulated karma for themselves, their kids, their kids' kids, because they got karma for generations. Father God is making sure that their lineage is cursed. Yeah, someone here is like, you're not leaving me. But the thing about it is this person is gay. They're on the down low, they're bi, and they're hiding it. They're hiding it. They're hiding it from you. Somebody here is really gay on the down low. They're literally bisexual. They have sex with men and women. It's, oh my goodness. And they got, they're throwing spiritual and mental attacks at you. It could be a Leo involved as well. Virgo, listen, there's a lot of red flags and warning signs being shown. It, it's up to you to see it, I'm seeing here. Because Father God is, is letting this person do this to you or letting you experience this so that you could choose you. So that so once you choose you, everything else chooses you as well. Yeah, someone here is losing their mind. Yes, they really are. They someone has lost their mind or they're losing their mind at this time. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, in regards to Virgo. Yeah, something could have happened by the water, or something will be happening by the water. You may be traveling with this individual, or something could be happening by the water. They could be losing their mind by the water. Someone here is getting ready to lose it. Yeah, it's a special ad hole that's up in here too. Somebody here don't have no common sense. They keep doing the same thing or, or, or different things, thinking it's going to have a different result. And Father God is, 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 is adding up bad karma to them. Yeah, someone here is getting ready to know how to behave. This special ed person. Yeah, it, it could be time to break up as well. Somebody here is deeply influenced with drugs and alcohol. I'm seeing they're also doing brutal on witchcraft. This got me pissed. This got me pissed. Somebody here is for the streets. Yeah, there's a clone that's here that's getting ready to go to jail because the feds are watching. Mm. Somebody here could have gotten with a clone, a lookalike of you, I'm seeing here, or someone that's fake and, and phony or fraud. I'm seeing here, yes. All the magic that they sent is, is a boomerang effect, okay? Somebody here is a, a master manipulator. All they like to do is manipulate, lie, con, okay? And they're truly gay on the down low. They don't want you to expose them or they don't want you to, to tell the truth about what they have going on, their dirty fantasies, okay? Yeah, somebody here is giving to you and different people. The Six of Pentacles, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Another Virgo, like yourself. Okay, someone here could be a business owner, very wealthy. They could be a father figure. They could have um, children. Yeah, there's a lot of drama. Father wants it's a lot of drama and conflict around this situation. Every time my cards do that, it lets me know there's a lot of hoopla going on up in here. A lot of hoopla, a lot of drama. Yeah, it's a, it's a breakup that's getting ready to take place. It's going to be a lot of drama with this person, with this king of pentacles here. Because someone here was very controlling. They wanted to keep you stuck. They wanted to keep you bonded to them. I'm seeing here. The five, of, yeah, the six of swords in the reverse. They're very emotionally manipulative. This could also be, um, this could also be a, a water sign. They wanted you to keep the, they, they did not want you to move to no type of calmer waters. Someone here did not want you, I need to keep that music on too. Someone here did not want you to move to any type of calmer water. Six of swords in the reverse. Six of swords in the upright is moving away from the conflicting waters. And the reverse is drama. You staying stuck in it. You being stagnated and not being able to move forward at all. What's the king of pentacles about? Yeah, this is someone that you were giving to. Or he could have been giving to you and two different people. He could be very wealthy. He could be like a gift giver. He could be a businessman. Okay, I'm seeing here. Yeah, but he's a liar. Five of swords. He's a liar. It was all a plan. It was all a ploy to get to get to, to, to make someone feel defeated or to make somebody surrender. Yeah, this is someone that has options with the lover's part. He has options. There's an option. There's, there's a decision that needs to be made in regards to love. Okay? Yeah. Moving forward, the chariot moving away from this individual is going to make sure that you avoid a tower. The tower in the reverse. Cancer, Scorpio energy is here. Gemini is here as well. What's this lovers about? 
Someone here has different people that they can be wanting to be in a connection with. There's also an empress that's here. Someone here was giving to an empress. Yeah, but there was a stronghold here with the four of pentacles. There was some type of stronghold here. Someone here wanted to hold somebody back from being from bringing balance to their life with the temperance. Okay, it could be with someone who's a star or a healer. Okay, yeah, someone here is in the public eye. This empress. There's an empress that's in the public eye. There's someone who's a divine being. They're very beautiful, very abundant, very prosperous. Okay, Virgo, this could be you. You could be in the public eye, Virgo. You could be in the spotlight, a star, getting recognized. Okay, people look up to you. The six of wands, recognition, accolades, blessings. You're living a very royal, luxurious, blessed life. Okay, I'm seeing here with the Empress. This man was giving to two different people. He had options in love with the lover's card, but there was a divine connection that he wanted to, to be in. And it could be with this Empress here who's in the public eye. Okay, yeah, somebody here was waiting though. There's a Queen of Wands who was waiting. What's the Three of Wands? There was a Queen of Wands that wanted to have a new beginning. Yeah, because she felt left out in the cold. So there's some type of queen of wands here. Yeah, someone here wanted to have a family with this man or wanted to have a family with this individual. They could already have a family with this individual. This queen of wands. She did not want this man to know that this that she's really devilish or toxic or, ooh, and was trying to keep him away from a real empress, a star, a healer. What's the queen of wands? Someone here, yeah. This person is trying to get out of regret at this time because right now she has her guard up very defensive. She feels very blocked. Yeah, she's confused about why someone is walking away. Someone is This woman is confused about why someone is choosing to walk away. She could even be getting readings done, okay, to figure and, and found out that someone has true love and they want, yeah, it could be with a Scorpio or it could be with a water sign. Or someone here has true love that they want to be with. It's a renewal from the past. They've heard the call of God. Judgment is about hearing the call of God. Virgo, someone here, yeah. Someone here was trying to either keep someone stuck away from you. Okay, empress energy, divine being energy. They could even be using sex. They were very confident because either they have kids or some type of soul connection or they were trying to manifest. They were waiting on this man to co-create. Okay, but these two aren't even a pair. The Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. These two people aren't even a pair. And the Empress is all the queens in the deck. So this woman is now distraught. She's trying to get out of some type of guilt because right now she's in confusion. The Seven of Cups about why someone is leaving. Yeah, there's a lot of mental stress here. Someone did not want someone to see that they were toxic. Yeah. Someone here wanted them to drop their guard, but they overcame this type of drama and conflict. They overcame it. They moved away from it. What's that King of Cups? Mm. all right y'all so for some of y'all this was the same person for some for for some of y'all this was this is someone new that god is orchestrating in okay god is orchestrating in because it could have been a lot of drama dealing with this individual you may have children with this person but it could have been a lot of fighting competition lies deception a lot of things going on behind this king of pentacles king of cups individual someone here likes to use their money to 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 show off or they could like to use money in regards to paying for love with the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. It's like they want to they wanna be shown as emotionally grounded, but they could have a lot of drama wrapped around them. Okay, for some of you guys, this is new love coming in. And you may already know this person. Or this could be someone from your past, a past life energy that's coming back towards you. That's true love. And there's a King of Swords that's going to be upset about it. Someone here is going to be putting on a mask. Acting like everything is fine and they're not. They're going to be heartbroken that it's over. I cannot make it up. <laughs> I hope this helped y'all. And if it did, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I'm sending y'all the brothers of peace, love, and light always. And I will be seeing y'all on the next video.